Hi, Esther. I'm good. I sure will be glad when we don't have to wear masks and stay indoors so much. Me too. But we want to be safe for everybody. We sure do. Any ideas what we can do today? Sure. Let's play a game. That sounds like fun. What game do you want to play? How about a game called, How Would Jesus Answer This Question? How would Jesus answer this question? What kind of game is that? Is this a Bible game? Yes, it's a game that helps us learn about Jesus and about God. Okay. Well, it seems to me Jesus usually answered a question by telling a story. Yes, but sometimes Jesus answered with an answer. Okay, let's try it. Good. Let's start with an easy one. How would Jesus answer this question? What is your mother's name? I know. Jesus would say, my mother's name is Mary, sometimes referred to as Mary, the mother of Jesus. But wait, if I was answering as Jesus would answer, I would say, my mother is sometimes called Mary, the mother of me, because I am Jesus. How'd I do? You're right. Although your answer is a little longer than I expected. This is easy. Ask me another one. Okay, but this is a tough one. This is a question that someone actually asked Jesus. I'm ready. I'll just try to think like Jesus. All right, then. The question that was asked of Jesus was, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Emmett? Uh, could you please make that a multiple choice question? Oh, Emmett, okay. The question is, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Answer A, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind. That's it. That's a great answer. I pick A. Don't you want to hear the other choices? Oh, sure. Okay, answer B is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I like that one. Okay, I pick B. Wait, there's more. Okay, let's hear answer C. C is all of the above. All of the above? All of the above? That means I can pick both A and B. That's even better than picking just A or B. Okay. I pick C. You're right. Final answer. <laughs> You're right. Jesus said that the greatest commandment is to love God with all of ourself, heart, mind, and soul. But then he said there's a second commandment that is like the first one, that you love your neighbor as yourself. Wait a minute. So Jesus didn't answer with a story. Right. But he didn't answer with just an answer. He snuck in two answers, as if they were just one answer. Right. Lever. Why do you do that? Because Jesus knew that if we love God, we also love everyone. God loves, and that's everyone. So love God and love everyone else as God loves you. So when we love someone, we're kind of saying, howdy, neighbor. God loves you, and so do I. God loves all God's children. Great game, Esther. I not only had fun, but I learned about God's love. I'd say amen to that. Amen.